just came back from six weeks in China, which was an amazing opportunity where the company were invited to perform as part of uh, the Olympic ceremony. Invited because of the legacy of the company's work that Celeste has built up in the last 17 years. So to come back now and then lead the company forward is, you know, on that high is, is, an, is such a privilege. Yes, what a, what a way to start. Yeah. <laughs> Here is the perfect human. Perfect human. The perfect human in a room with no boundaries and with nothing. Actually, for me, The Perfect Human is a very sarcastic, of course, uh, title. Um, not, not because of the connection to the company, but because there is nothing like that. And only human beings could invent the concept of perfect. I sampled some text from uh, a very old film. The text was really simple and really effective. Um, in the sense of the way that you just throw it on some images and it, it's really thought-provoking. Well, Hoffmann was a choreographer that we, were, that we had been interested in for a while. Being so articulate in his uh, movement vocabulary, the physical articulation of the body. Now, the movement material comes from him. It doesn't, it doesn't lead the dancers into improvisation to generate their own movement. So it's in one way it tries to find something that's more uniform. It, it was the first time really that I'd been in a uh, a professionally choreographed piece um, in which I was doing unison movements with non-disabled dancers. I'm very excited about that. You had to really put all of your intensity and all of your energy into every single movement. Like you don't really look at the other dancers, you never touch anyone else really. We sometimes move as a pack or you know in twos or threes but we're all quite um, insular and within our own little bubble of a world. By the end you realise you're kind of at the edge of your seat mm -hmm. and you don't quite, you still haven't thought of how quite you got there. It's hopefully visually very simple to understand, actually, uh, which is, I think, different from a lot of other works that I did. Um, a lot of times I was really attracted to, you know, to mix and move the stage and, and kind of like create a blur and create a chaos. Um, whereas there is some moments in the piece where, where it kind of like, you know, where, where I mixed it, where I stir it. but. Generally, it speaks to you in a very kind of like bold, simple word. The piece I'm making with Kanduko is called Still. And it's called Still because it's about movement, obviously, because they move a lot. Uh, but it's about stillness as well, I think, yeah. But actually, they're never still. They, they keep moving all the time. Because stillness is pretty boring, after all. So it's a really bad title. I don't know why I called it Still. For me, I see, I see it as an insight into Nigel's sort of hedonistic mind. You know, he's a, he's a crazy man. Just like so much fun 
and excitement and energy. His only rule is if you've got a question or if you're asking yourself, can I do this or should I be doing this or does he want to see this, just say yes, 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 yes. From a dancer's point of view, he definitely opened up the door to saying anything goes. Yeah. Just try anything. You can't, you can't shock him, basically. Mm. Being inside of it, sometimes you're not even aware of exactly what you're doing because you're just so like in the moment. We're like loving each other one minute and screaming at each other at another and like rolling on the floor and doing all kinds of things. Dance me to your beauty with a burning violin Dance me through the panic till I'm gathered safely in Lift me like an olive branch and be my homeward dove Dance me to the end of love that I make it's always about people first of all and about how people deal with each other and also about more so in this piece about the loss of that so about losing somebody either the breakup of a relationship or somebody you're close to dies or goes away or whatever so it's about it's about love and about loss it's a roller coaster ride I think of emotions it feels like it'll be a show that'll be different or have something different every night he strips off you know the the layers of, of contemporary dance in one way, if it is contemporary dance, you know, he, you know, does it have to be pretty? Does it have to have meaning? Does it have to, you know, you have emotion? Does it, what about technique? You know, he just takes everything off and say, what's left? What's left? What's left is the performer and an audience. The most important thing to me is that there's communication. That's why I'm in theatre, I suppose, really, because it's, for me, it's about that live act of communication and that's why one of the reasons why the dancers at some at one point go into the audience <laughs> It was surprising. Lots of fun, lots of different things going on. It was really brave, I think. How they performed, that just like completely made it for me because I thought they were just all really amazing. I really liked the pants dance. That was like quite a surprise. I thought it was really funny. I would definitely recommend it if you want to have your uh, ideas of dance pushed. Prepare to be amazed, basically. In Hofesh's work, you, you have this, this line that rings through about um, why does he move like that? which you know, is a really integral concept within, within Kanduke, the, the whole thought of movement, how we all move differently, um, and, and how that feeds into movement vocabulary. And then I think with um, Nigel's work, it's Nigel Charnock doing what Nigel Charnock does. That element of danger and not knowing what's going to happen on stage. So for me, in my work with the education department, taking that out to other groups is really, that's a really great platform because there's, there's that element of freedom and, and risk rather than just teaching dance and you should move like this, what we really explore is the individual and, and the, each individual's creativity. I think we're all really, really hungry to go on tour and like show, like show these pieces. It's great, you know, you get to go with a great bunch of people, do the job that you love doing, see a bit of the world. Um, yeah, it's really exciting. But I hope that it's like a program that's intense and a little bit offensive. <laughs> But seriously, still come to see our show. <laughs>